So you guys seem to really enjoy my last video where I made Snake as a playable game in Discord chat, and to be honest, I had a lot of fun making it. So, this time I decided I would give it another shot and make another game. This time we're going to do Hangman as a playable Discord game using basically the same concepts as our Snake game. Like I said, I've been having a lot of fun making these, so if you have any suggestions or any ideas for games you'd like to see made in Discord, feel free to drop it below in the comments. I'll see it, and if I like it, I'll be sure to kind of give it a shot or play around with the idea. So anyways, for Hangman, I actually just start off with not doing Hangman and actually breaking up my code from the last video. In the last video when I made Snake, I actually just made it all in a single file and just did it all right then and there. And while that worked for the proof of concept of Snake, it's not going to work really well if we want to expand upon this and actually add Hangman as well. So the first step for me was actually to break up that main index.js file, move Snake off into its own file to where I can then call it uh, when you enter the Snake command, and then set up a file to where I, we will put Hangman and be able to call Hangman when we do the Hangman command. So after finally going through and fixing every little bug that popped up by breaking up this code and moving Snake into its own class, I finally started on Hangman. And because I'm a lazy programmer, I decided to essentially just copy Snake over and use the base code of Snake to remake Hangman. So after ripping out all the snake specific code, I decided to start with doing the reactions to trigger letters on the hangman board. Now because I wanted to keep this again clean like the snake game, I wanted to utilize the reactions to be able to input your keys or your letters that you wanted to guess. My initial idea was to simply take the emoji or the reaction and the kind of key code that uh, Discord gives it, which is the colons with the actual uh, word or the actual emoji name in the middle, and use that to parse out what letter the user guessed. Now unfortunately this idea was flawed on two fronts. The first is while this is the A character and it is colon A colon, it unfortunately isn't the character or the emoji that, that goes with every single letter in the alphabet. This uh, emoji here actually means the blood type A, and unfortunately there is no colon c colon. Now that doesn't ruin the whole idea though, as there are emojis for every single letter in the alphabet, they are instead just called regional indicator symbols. However, I would soon find out that Discord.js doesn't actually send over the way you type in the original indicator symbols into Discord as a string to the bot here. So there is no way for me to parse out the colons and the middle bit and get the character from what is typed in. All I'm given is the actual emoji as a Unicode character. So my next idea, while not very pretty, was to build up a giant map of all of the Unicode characters and their actual physical English typed characters. Now this idea or the solution wasn't very pretty in my mind, but it was the best way I could get this mapping to work given that I couldn't actually get the typed in uh, Discord characters at all. I also have to find out that the Unicode characters in VS Code look a lot like the standard type version, which just made it that much more confusing, but luckily they were a bit smaller, so I could kind of get them and see the differences, but at any rate, I built up this map, and this is what allowed me to continue on with getting the guest letter from the inputted reaction emoji. So now that I had that map to convert from the emoji to the ASCII character, I can continue on with making the Hangman game and storing the English or the ASCII character in a map that way we had the previously guessed characters and we could display them on the screen in the game. Now the next step was to actually build up the description of the embed or the actual Hangman game that was a graphical display that would show the Hangman being built as well as include the word as you guessed it and show the letters that you got correct. I decided to keep the emoji theme from the snake game and have the Hangman be a bunch of emojis with a top hat, a face, a shirt, shorts, and then shoes to represent the Hangman as you go along and progress in the game. This ended up providing issues though, as Discord by itself doesn't really support spaces in the embed, just the description by default. When you have a space, it kind of just removes it, gets it away. So it turns the hangman into this kind of weird thing where it feels just very scrunched and kind of squished together, as well as the word below the hangman doesn't actually show because the spaces there are to make it look good. They are just kind of erased because it doesn't support spaces. In the end, I was able to basically circumvent this by putting everything inside of a code block. 
If you don't know what a code block is, basically if you add three ticks uh, surrounding your code, it basically just says, treat this text as is, display it as is, don't do anything fancy to it, which is what allows me to have the hangman board look like this, have all the spacing be perfect, and just have it actually show as I want it to. Unfortunately for me though, my skills as recording are not too good and I accidentally hit pause without restarting it, so I lost the rest of the footage, but I was actually almost done. All that was left was to add a little field here at the bottom about how to play, as well as to add some more uh, of the emojis into our list, that way they work and they don't confuse them, as well as to add this giant list of words. It is gross to look at, I do not like it, however I've yet to find any sort of list online that I can use that I have liked, um, and so this is the solution, this is what I do for my Hangman game. I really wish I could you know, offload this to some back-end website, but again, I should not found anyone that I like personally, so this will just have to do. But now we have a working Hangman game, we can go ahead and run Hangman, and we can literally play Hangman in Discord by doing reactions given the original indicators or really anything that I have determined looks like a letter that will trigger the game to progress and make a step, it'll trigger the guess, and you can go through and try and guess the word that the game randomly picks out and play that way. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I've been loving to make these games, so feel free to give me suggestions or anything really. It's been a lot of fun. I've had a few more ideas that I've been looking into, but uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Peace out.